In 1998, the Fox Network was indulging in our conspiracy theory fantasies and showing us that there is truly no limit to the fiendish ideals those in power will indoctrinate us with. They also had a neat show called The X-Files. With a trading card game already out and a movie on the way, it was prime time for the series to get its own video game. The first would be the reasonably titled The X-Files Game. Developer Hyperbole Studios takes the first whack at adapting the series, spanning a whopping seven discs and a script composed of 842 pages. It was a no-brainer to turn the series into a game. Who wouldn't want to investigate the paranormal? See Mulder. Hang out with Mulder. Be like Mulder. Be Mulder. Mulder. Mul- The X-Files game does its best to give you the experience of a typical episode of The X-Files, and all things considered, doesn't do a half bad job. The most prevalent issue with this, however, is that it feels so much like you're watching an episode of the show that you rarely feel like you're playing a video game. In a move that undoubtedly disappointed fans, you actually don't play as the show's main characters, Agents Fox Mulder and Dana Scully. Instead, you play as a new character, Agent Craig Wilmore, though almost all the characters make an appearance in some form. The opening sequence shows Mulder and Scully investigating a warehouse and being ambushed by a group of government thugs with guns, leaving Scully wounded and Mulder's fate unknown. Their superior, Assistant Director Skinner, assigns Agent Wilmore to locate the now-missing agents. Agent Wilmore is a little green, He's yet to really prove himself, but jumps at the opportunity to... Oh, that's a dumb sentence. But jumps at the opportunity to do so. The moment I saw this guy, I was disappointed. But I eventually grew to really like him. He's got this dry sense of humor that could easily be shoddy acting that I've given too much credit. First of all, we need to locate the other key that Mulder was looking for. Now, whatever is in that room is protected by some kind of a blast door. It looks to me like, like the, uh, the door is, is operated by two key panels. Both keys need to be turned simultaneously, like launching a nuclear... There's a lot of hopelessly, direly, soul-crushingly dry water cooler banter between Wilmore and the other characters. Is there any reason why someone would treat this like contraband? Nope. It's neither illegal nor sexy. I really honestly can't tell if it's horribly bad or genuinely funny because, well, I laughed. Maybe that just says something about my sense of humor. It was hilarious. It was hilarious. It was hilarious. Anyway, the story is actually canon with the series and specifically occurs somewhere in the show's third season, more specifically between episodes 21 and 23, judging by the dates shown when you travel to a new area. Along the way, you meet other characters from the show, like the Lone Gunman and Black Deep Throat, as well as new characters like Detective Mary Astridorian, who sort of snakes her way into becoming your partner. I assume this was an attempt to simulate the dynamic between Mulder and Scully, complete with sexual tension. The search for the two agents puts Agent Wilmore in the middle of all the crazy stuff Mulder and Scully deal with on a daily basis. From a writing standpoint, I get why they chose someone new to the realms of Supernatural, but I doubt anybody really played this game without being somewhat familiar with the series. So why would Skinner go to some unexperienced young agent to find Mulder and Scully, who are undoubtedly mixed up in some global scale conspiracy? Skinner knows this. That's why he keeps so much from Wilmore. What's the point though? What are the odds that Mulder and Scully got lost in the woods for a week? In all probability, they got caught up with some mutated monster created by secret military testing or something else Skinner wouldn't want others knowing about. I'm just saying, was Wilmore really the best person for this job? He didn't even know the guy in the office down the hall was a double agent. How did you know about Wong? What? How did you know I went to see Wong yesterday? You told me. The game attempts to fit within the canon of the show without disturbing it, which causes the game's story to be sort of mediocre. It's a one-off, a throwaway story, but it's very much in keeping with the TV show style, being as though it was written by the show's creator, Chris Carter. It was fun seeing familiar characters talk to you. I mean, some might say that it's all I've ever wanted. I mean, all you would ever want. I mean, I mean, some might say that's all I... You, you could ever, um, ask for. You know? I think the X-Files game is more of an X-Files simulator than an X-Files game. Most of the time you'll be watching cutscenes or asking questions to get more cutscenes. They really went all out with the film segments because, well, I guess if you think of it as X-Files, the show, the game, it's really like an interactive TV show. 
Plus, you can be a dick. Please don't do that. Do you know how many people do that with me sitting right here? No. Well, you're not the first. When you do take control of Wilmore, it plays like a first-person adventure game, only without puzzles or extensive reading. A lot of the ways you progress in the game are done by very logical real-life means. You find Mulder and Scully's call records, start calling people. This puts an odd emphasis on the paperwork and research involved in being an FBI agent, but fun nonetheless. A few times you'll be given a choice of attitudes to reply with. This supposedly changes the outcome of the game, but from what I could tell, they didn't really change the character's responses. Apparently, if you stick to paranoid responses, you'll get an appropriate ending, which begs the question, why would you play as a skeptic? I mean, I've seen the show. There are aliens and monsters and ghosts. We know that. We know. Were you really going into this game with the hope that it was all going to turn out to be anything other than the supernatural? The creators were gracious enough to throw in some action, so there are a couple of arcade-style shootouts. It's really just a video with a hotspot you have to click before you get shot. Though the format of these shootouts is sort of tired and contrived, there was something oddly satisfying about seeing real footage of your enemies being shot. Shit! Well, you've been looking at it. Does it really count as graphics when every aspect of this game is video or a real photo? I mean, I can judge it by the image quality. It's kind of grainy and low resolution. I'd be lying if I said I didn't find it charming, though. As a confessed cinephile, it was deeply bothersome to see the X-Files not being filmed with 35mm film, but instead being filmed with digital Betamax tape. Digital Betamax tape was used for broadcast TV as a news broadcast, so it makes any shots not filmed in a soundstage look like an amateur student film. Despite that, some of the performances are really good. Ah, uh, yeah, that's all I have on that. I mean, what else can you say? A black man. What black man? We don't know his name. That's ridiculous. Wait, but Scully met Mr. X last season. Why couldn't she just guess who he was talking about? No, whatever, that's cool. I mean, if that's the way you're gonna run things, then so be it. I mean, I was under the impression that you were gonna have an accurate If you're an X-Files fan and you're starving for content, this wouldn't be the worst place to look. If it fails, it's not for lack of trying. So much probably went into this ad. Hours of footage with Hollywood actors having to show up between filming the series and presumably the first feature film that was released within the same year. It's not the greatest game, but there was a nostalgic glee I got, seeing a show I love in a format I loved. I was moderately interested from the beginning, but once they started introducing familiar characters, I became Agent Wilmore. I am Agent Wilmore. I should give Mulder a call. I'll need some supplies first. Oh yeah, ooh, that feels good. Sturdy. That ought to do the trick. I would rate it three Duchovny's and one secret Duchovny. Well, thanks for visiting. Uh, I'm going to head out. I'm actually editing a UFO documentary uh, on the DL, so look out for that. Lights, man? No, I was Aliens. <laughs>